Namaste. Welcome to this practice. If you have yoga blocks or thick books, you can have this nearby. Otherwise, let's meet in all fours. Extend the arms out, separate the knees wide as the yoga mat, bring the hips back and kiss the forehead to the ground. Crawl the hands to the right side and we will start here in a lateral child's pose. Feel free to place the left hand on top of the right. Close the eyes. Start to sink with your breath, lengthening each inhale and exhale. Feel the earth supporting you and allow the body to melt. I will guide you through four steps in today's practice. The first step is to trust. Trust my voice. Trust your breath. Trust this safe space that is your yoga mat. Trust that you are where you belong and everything is as it should be. Keeping the eyes closed, start to crawl your hands to the other side and turn the torso to face the left side. If you like, you can place the right palm on top of the left hand to deepen the stretch. The second step that we want to take in this practice is to allow. Take one big inhale in through the nose, exhale out the mouth, two more times like that. One big inhale in through the nose exhale out the mouth big inhale in through the nose open the mouth and let out a big sigh allow your belly to expand as you push the air to the lower lobes of the lungs with each inhale allow your body to melt a little more to the ground with each exhale taking note of and releasing any tension you might be holding on the face or the body Allow your mind to let go of thoughts that have been bogging you down. As a 19th century French philosopher and yogi, Jackson Kiddard once wrote, anything you can't control is teaching you how to let go. Allow life to flow and work itself out. Know that all things in life, good or bad, happy or sad, they will eventually pass.
roll the hands back to the center of the mat, press onto all five fingers and let's come into tabletop. We'll flow through a couple of cat cows here. On the inhale, opening the chest and dropping the belly. On the exhale, rounding the back for cat. Satisfied, drop the elbows down and melt the forehead for a melting heart pose. You can either extend the arms towards straight or come to a modified shark's fin melting heart pose by bending the elbows and joining the palms together at the back of your head. Feel the stretch in your triceps and both sides of the body. Close the eyes if they aren't yet. Third step is to embrace. Embrace the moment and drop further into the practice. See if you can soften the face and the body with each exhale. Embrace the breath. Embrace who you are in this moment. Embrace everything that is going on in your life. It's normal that we may resist or fight back when we encounter difficulties in life. But see if you can embrace the challenges and let life carry you to places instead of you carrying life like a burden on your back. Slowly undo the pose, push back up to a tabletop position, and walk the knees slightly to the back. Let's come to lie down on our belly, and when you get there, come up on the elbows, slide the arms out a little, parallel like railway tracks as we get ready for Sphinx pose. Make sure the elbows are aligned with the shoulders, and see if you can open the chest instead of collapsing down. If this is challenging for you, place a towel or blanket under the elbows or prop yourself up using blocks or thick books. Once again, close the eyes or keep a soft gaze. Return to your breath.
slide the palms back next to the ribs and push yourself up to tabletop. When you get there, slide the knees a little to the back one more time and we'll do some hip circles a few times clockwise. And now counterclockwise. And when you're satisfied, crawl the knees to the front of the mat, cross the feet from behind, and we'll come to a seated position. We'll transition to a supported fish pose with butterfly legs. If you have two blocks to bolster pillows or books, place these behind you. Come to lie down on the blocks. The bottoms of the shoulder blades should rest on the top edge of the block. Try to rest the head down and adjust your blocks, bolsters, or books accordingly so that you're not feeling any strain on the neck. When you're feeling alright, bring the soles of the feet together for butterfly legs. I'm using two blocks here, one for under the shoulders and one to support my head. If you don't have a block, you can either come onto a normal fish pose by pressing onto the elbows and shoulders and lifting the chest while the head rests on the mat. Or you can always take a short break in Shavasana. Your hands can rest gently next to you or you can place one hand on top of the chest and the other on top of the belly. Close the eyes or keep a soft gaze. The last step is simply being. Being here, not lingering on the past, not overthinking the future. As the Dalai Lama once said, there are two days in the year that nothing can be done. One is called yesterday and the other is called tomorrow. So today is the right day to love, believe, do, and mostly live. No matter where you are in life, let go and let be. Even if you're in Shavasana right now, but if you're breathing deeply and focusing on the breath, you're still trusting your decision, allowing the breath to guide you, embracing the yoga and being in this moment, which is the right place, the right time. Straighten the legs, push on to the forearms and release, slowly ease back up. If you had props, you can put these aside now. Let's come to lie on our backs. And when you get there, hug both knees to the chest. Keep the eyes closed here as you gently sway from side to side, massaging the spine. the left leg towards straight, right arm opens to the right and let the right knee drape over to the left side. You want more? Feel free to bend the left knee and reach down with your right hand to catch the left foot for cat pulling its tail pose.
unravel from the pose, this time extending the right leg straight, opening the left arm to the side, bending the left knee to the chest, and allowing the left knee to fall onto the right side. If you like, you can bend the right knee and reach down for cat pulling its tail on this side. pulling its tail, release the hand, and do the pose, hug both knees back to the center, lift the head up, and give yourself a big squeeze. Release everything down as we come to rest in Shavasana. Thank you. 
bringing some awareness back to the body, wiggling the toes, extending the arms and the legs. Press onto your left side, your yin side, and let's come to sit on the floor or on top of a yoga mat. Rest the hands on top of the knees, palms facing up. Touch the index finger with the thumb for chin mudra, symbolizing connection to a higher self. We'll finish with a simple breathing exercise here, inhaling for four and exhaling for four. Take a big inhale in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Keep this simple breathing exercise going at your own pace until you hear the sound of a bell ring. Take one big inhale in through the nose and out the nose. Take one big inhale in through the nose, open the mouth, and let it all out. One last time, big inhale in through the nose, open the mouth, and sigh it all out. Bring the palms in front of the heart. May you be filled with light and with love. Namaste. Namaste.